There he is in front of it again. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you don't see this black screen. Hello. <laughs> I, I like blocking the screen off, eh? I love him, but I can't train him. <laughs> I keep telling him, you gotta like spin on the side and push that button. <laughs> yeah. You forgot to keep it on play. So it's now 10 after. So 5, 10, 15. So 20 after. We'll have to stop our reading. This is uh, your mm -hmm. daily Bible 20, reading. 20 we're reading through the Bible. Okay. I'm Eric. And I'm Linda. Welcome to Reading Through the Bible with us, and it's day 82. And if you notice, today I'm in the fog. <laughs> Not really. We have a lot of, well, it's not even sunny, but we have windows kind of all around us in this room. And so in various places we sit, we get either white out or a halo, or it looks like a fog on you, right? We might have to try and move <laughs> chair next time. Anyway. Yeah. Anyhow. Thank you for joining with us. Yes. We pray that you are blessed by through the reading of God's Word. Yes, get your Bible there. And uh, so I'm just going to open a prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the awesome privilege of reading your Word. Yes. I pray that we open our eyes of understanding to learn more about you. And may it bless all who listen and who read. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. And I get to read first. And he's reading the New International Version. When I read, I'm reading the King James Version. So are you ready? And I read with her, her Bible, with, at a Bible study last night. I just was having trouble with these and those and, I'm getting used and all to that it. stuff. So, Anyhow, <clears throat> Chapter here we 13 go. of Joshua. Land still to be taken. When Joshua was old and well advanced in years, the Lord said to him, You are very old, and there are still very large areas of land to be taken on. This is the land that remains, all the regions of the Philistines and Geshurites, from the Shihor River on the east of Egypt to the territory of Ekron on the north, all of it counted as Canaanite, the territories of the five Philistine rulers in Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, that of the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, from Era of the Sidonians, as far as Ephak, the region of the Amorites, the area of the uh, Gebulites, and, the, and all Lebanon to the east, from Balgad, Baalgad, below Mount Horam, to Lebo, Hamath, Mount Horam. That's quite a territory. I was trying to look it up on a map where it would be. And Israel today is not near the dimensions of what this promised land that God gave the Israelites when they crossed over Jordan. He had designated a certain amount of area, and it's not near that today. Okay. Verse 6. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon and Mishrifotamalim <coughs> and all this Sidonians, them will I drive out before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and half tribe of Manasseh, which whom the Rehobonites and the Gadites had received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond Jordan, eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. From Aror, that is, upon the bank of the river Aronon, and the city that is in the midst of the river. The city in the midst of the river must be an island, eh? And mm -hmm. all the plain of... Here it's called the midst of the gorge. Oh, okay. Uh, which means it might be in the spring surrounded by water. Cool. Might be on the island, right? Eh? Yeah, uh, plains of Mediba unto Debon, and all the cities of Shihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, under the border of the children of Ammon, and the and Gilead, and the border of Geshurites, and Mac, Mac, Mac and all Mount Hermon, and <coughs> all Bashan, under the Selkan, all the kingdoms of Og, of Bashan, which reigned in Ashtalra, and in Ed Er or Ed Rei, who remain at the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smit and cast them out. Mine has these little markers, so it's supposed to be 
F, not E, then D, hard, then Re, and then I. So it's E, D, Re, I. So if, if I took my time, I could probably use all this grammar stuff and pronounce this way. And please forgive me for those who know how to say these names, who are laughing their head off silly. Oh, please don't be offended. So where did I end up? I don't know, you got to tell me. Uh, writes to the thing. Okay, verse 14. Verse 14. Well, <coughs> but to the tribe of Levi, he gave no inheritance, since the offerings made by fire to the Lord, the God of Israel, are their inheritance as he promised them. This is what Moses had given to the tribe of Reuben, clan by clan. The territory from Aror on the rim of the Arnon Gorge, and from the town in the middle of the gorge, and the whole plateau past the mid Medaba to Heshbon and all its towns in the plateau, including Dibon, Bamas, Baal, Beth Baal, Mon, Amion, uh, Jehaz, Kedamath, Mepha, uh, Kerathiam, Sibma, Zerath, Shirar, in the hill from the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshimoth, all the towns on the plateau and the entire realm of Sion, king of the Amorites, who ruled at Heshbon. Moses had defeated him and the Midianite chiefs, Evi, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, princess allied with Shihon, who lived in that country. In addition to those slain in battle, the Israelites had put to the sword Balaam, son of Bor, who practiced divination. Verse 23. Oh, mine doesn't end there. Mine says, Did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them? Okay, verse 23. And the border of the Chaldean of Reuben was. Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribes of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was ja ja Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, under the Aroer, that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon, and Ramath, Mizpeth, and Bet O Nim, and from Mahanath M unto the border of Debo, and in the valley of Beth Aram, and Beth Nimra, and Sukkoth, and Zephon, the rest of the kingdom of Shihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chin Nethreth, on the other side of Jordan east. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad, after their families, the cities, and their villages. Verse 29. <clears throat> this is what Moses had given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, that is, to half the family of the descendants of Manasseh, clan by clan, their territory extending from Mahanaim and including all the Bashan, the entire realm of Og, king of Bashan, all the settlements of Jar in Bashan, 60 towns, half of Gilead and Ashtoreth and Edril, the royal cities of Og and Bashan. This was for the descendants of uh, Machir, son of Manasseh, for half of the sons of Machir, clan by clan, that had given when he was in the plains of Moab. For well, this inheritance Moses had given when he was in the plains of Moab across the Jordan east of Jericho. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses had given no inheritance. The Lord, the God of Israel, is their inheritance as he promised them. Chapter 14, division of the land west of the Jordan. Five minutes, five minutes. <coughs> Here, chapter 14. And these are the 
countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan were Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half tribes. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half tribe on the other side of Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the hand of, in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs, for their cattle and their substances. And the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Verse 6. Hebron given to kill. Now the men of Judah <coughs> approached Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephunai, the Canozite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, at, Kishda, at Kadesh, Bernia, about you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh, Bernia, to explore the land, and I brought him back a report according to my conviction. But my brothers who went up with me made the hearts of the people melt with fear. I, however, followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. So on that day Moses swore to me, the land in which your feet have walked will be your inheritance, and that of your children forever, because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. <clears throat> now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he said this to Moses, while Israel moved about in the desert. So here I am today, 85 years old. I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I am just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard them, that the Anakites were there, and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord helped me. I will drive them out just as he said. With the Lord helping me, I will drive them out. Verse 13. And Joshua blessed him, and gave him <clears throat> unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and the Kezalite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anamakaikims, and the land had rest from war. Finally, rest from war. A lot of history, and, and you know what? We were taught that the children of Israel, the young men by the time they were 13 years old, had to memorize all of these books, word by word. Can you imagine? Name by name. Oh, and man. And a lot of it's repeated. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I can already pronounce it when I memorize it. So, in part two, we're going to look at chapter 15, and we're going to look at Luke chapter 1, one, the last part. The first chapter is a long chapter, so it's been taking us a while to get through it. Oops, I went past it. And so, this is going to stop shortly, and then we're going to go ahead with the next video to do part two. So okay. Please don't go away. Please See, I'm going to block away. it all off again. Here See? <laughs> Back for part two.